Hi, you guys. Welcome to Audrey's Reading Area. Today is Friday, Inspirational Friday. Yes, Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5 p.m. Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area live at 5 o'clock p.m. All right, all right, all right. Live at 5. And it's 5 o'clock right now. So you know I'm here for you on this inspirational Friday. I have a beautiful story that I'm going to read for you. Yes. Please, first hit hit like and hit share so you can share this video with everybody. Everybody gets to hear it. Then go on over to YouTube and smash that subscribe button there at Audrey's Reading Area on YouTube. All right, all right, all right. And punch, punch, knock out that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. You'll be the first to know. You'll be the first to share it. Tell everybody I got a new one. Well, all right, all right, all right. So now, the story that I'll be reading for you is taken out of this magazine, Science News. It's a, it's a special story. Got it from my school that I work at. It's a century of epidemics. That's what it says on the cover. Brazilian jaguars go fish. Science News, magazine of the Society for Science, November 6th edition of 2021 spidey senses <laughs> that's yeah isn't that a weird looking spider but that's not the story i'm going to be reading to you the story i'll be reading is called birds learn the call of the wild while still in their eggs birds learn the call of the wild while still in their eggs and i chose this story to read to you guys because I mean, it inspired me to inspire you because it just reminds me of humans. When you talk to the baby when it's in utero, in your uterus, they actually hear you. You talk to them, you read to them, you sing to them. They hear you. So listen to this story. The unhatched offspring of superb fairy wrens, adult shown, appear to distinguish sounds of their own species versus others. Other birds may have the same ability, research, researchers say. So not only do they hear you when they're still in the egg, but they can distinguish sounds. They can tell if it's a sound coming from their own species. Isn't that amazing? It just reminds me of my grandbabies um, when my daughter was pregnant and I would talk to her stomach or her uterus and the baby's born and recognizes my voice. I just, I just think that's amazing. Sing to, to, sang to her belly. Even when my, I was pregnant with my daughter, she was in there. I would sing to her. She recognized my voice. I think it's so beautiful. So that, this story inspired me to read to you guys for that reason. The science life: birds learn the call of the wild while still in their eggs. This was written by Leslie Evans Ogden. Beautiful. It says, it's a lot of big words, so if you don't understand them, you can look up the words, and or I'll just try to explain them the best I can. Behavioral ecologist Diane Columbelli Negrel was wiring the nests of superb fairy wrens to record the bird's sounds when she noticed something odd. Mothers sang while incubating their eggs. She heard the mother birds singing while incubating their eggs. Even though keeping quiet would avoid attracting predators. So she sang to her eggs, even if predators heard her, she made sure she sang to her eggs. That early discovery was a bit of an, a an accident, says Columbelli Negrel of Finders University in Adelaide, Australia. It made her wonder, could the baby birds be learning sounds or even songs before hatching? Isn't this great? Isn't it great? Scientists have long pondered how early in development individuals learn to perceive distinct sounds. It's known that humans learn to recognize their mother's voice from the womb. From the womb. Isn't that what I just said? Even when my mom was pregnant, 
because I'm the second out of seven. And so she was pregnant after me and I got to talk to the baby and they recognized my voice after they were born. But my, my greatest story is from my grandbabies talking to my daughter's stomach or, or uterus um, singing. And, and when, the when my grandbabies were born, they, I would talk and it would turn. They recognized my voice. Loved it. It's such a good feeling. So this says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read that again. It says, it's known, it is known that humans learn to recognize their mother's voice from the womb. It is known. For birds such as superb fairy wrens, which perfect their songs with parental tutoring, it was thought that sound perception began after hatching. After hatching. But when it became obvious that mother birds were intentionally singing to their eggs, I'm saying... We knew we were onto something, says Sonia Kleindorfer, an uh, avian ecologist at the University of Vienna. Columbelli Negrel and Klein, Clyde Kleindorfer and a colleague reported in 2014 that superb fairy wrens learned to distinguish between sounds of their own species and others while still in the egg. In a new study reported in the, um, the October 25th for Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society B, name of a magazine, that that ability appears to extend to at least four more bird species. I just think that's wonderful. It's amazing. In birds and humans, a drop in embry embryonic heart rate suggests attention to a stimulus. In the scientists' earlier work, unhatched fairy wrens, their heart rate slowed up, slowed down in response to repeated sounds of their own species, but not other. So what does that mean when your heart rate just slows down? It, it makes you think that they're relaxing, right? They're relaxing. So they based it on the heart rate slowing down because it was familiar, so it made them relax. They just relaxed. It, it, now their hearts um, just raced. Then I relaxed, right? Mm. To investigate whether this phenomenon is more widespread among birds, the team also turned its attention to the embryonic heartbeats of Japanese quail, little penguins, red-winged fairy wrens, and Darwin's small ground finches. Mm. The team measured the heart rates of 109 unhatched chicks before, during, and after exposure to playbacks of songs from their own species or others. <laughs> then the scientists looked at whether 138 embryos stopped paying attention to or habituated to repeated sounds of unfamiliar individuals of their own species singing. Ah! This habituation measured by the heart rate returning to normal would imply learning had occurred. Mm. To the team's surprise, all of the eggs showed a slowed heart rate in response to their species sounds and showed habituation. Habitu habituation. That finding suggests that these unhatched birds learn to perceive the sounds of their species songs. Mm. The scientists don't know why the penguins and quail, which have their calls genetically baked in instead of taught to them by a tutor, have this ability before birth. The teens hoped, they hope to study prenatal sounds perceptions in more bird species to probe the advantages of this early education, not education, education, get it? <laughs> education, the end of my story. That's the end of my story. I just found this story so interesting and I thought that you would too. So I read it on this inspirational Friday to inspire you, yes in many different ways. 
So thank you so much for being here and listening to me run fun and exciting stories like this. Yes. Thank you. Again, it's written by Leslie Evans Ogden, The Science Life. So on this inspirational Friday, I thank you again for being here and don't forget to click like, don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to go to YouTube and smash that subscribe button for me and punch, punch that notification bell. Give it a right hook so that you can be the first to know when I upload a new video and you can be the first to share it and tell people that it's there and hit, 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 smash, punch, hammer that subscribe button don't forget shout out to my mom bev my mom's name is beverly for always 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 being here for me as i read these books always showing support shout out shout out to sonia thank you for being here sonia thank you so much thank you to everyone else who was here that i can't see on here um special shout outs to Sylvia, Michelle Buchanan, special shout out to my cousin Ellie and my friend Victoria who share my video all the time. See how I ask you to share this video? They always share it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I hope you guys uh, want to get in that habit of sharing this video so people can let their kids hear me read. And that I, I try to encourage you guys or other kids or other people to read because reading is fundamental. Reading is educational. You gotta read stuff for yourself. Gotta be in the habit of reading. So I'm reading to you to try to inspire you to read. And I hope you just enjoy hearing me read. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here at Audrey's Reading Area. And once again, you guys have helped me out. I've got more than 500, um, 500 subscribers now. I'm trying to get 500 more, please do. Go, it doesn't cost anything. It's free. Totally free. So, all right, all right, all right, you guys. I will see you again on Monday, right? Live at 5 on Monday. L-I-V-E. Live at 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Live at 5 on Monday, you guys. I will see you soon. You guys know I hate leaving. I, I know the story was short, but I hate leaving, you guys. But I will see you again on Monday. Live at 5. Here at Audrey's Reading Area, be there.